The Trans-European Transport Network, TEN-T, includes all the main modes of transport in the European Union. At the end of 2013, the EU established nine transport cornet corridors. They cover most of the internal transport within the EU. One of these corridors is the Orient East Med, which connects the North and Baltic seaports via the state of Saxony and the Czech Republic to Southeast Europe. Important parts of the infrastructure do not yet meet the demands of a globalized world economy. One of the most serious bottlenecks is the cross-border rail link between Dresden and Prague, which carries the majority of international freight traffic between North and Southeast Europe. It cannot be upgraded due to conditions in the deep Elbe Valley. Therefore, the construction of a new, efficient rail link is necessary. Over the last few years, several alternatives have been examined. Within the framework of a study funded by the EU, a comprehensive review of this new rail route was carried out. The preferred route option across the border involves bypassing residential and ecologically sensitive areas. Both hydrological conditions and geological structures are taken into account. The result is the crossing of the state border between both EU countries by an approximately 26-kilometer-long base tunnel in the eastern Ore Mountains. The entire route is designed for the operation of long-distance freight and passenger trains. For the first 12 kilometers, the route follows the existing mainline connection between Dresden and Prague, starting at Dresden Main Station. The new rail line leaves the existing track at the town of Heidenau near Dresden in a southern direction with a double track. It crosses the State Road 172 via a bridge south of the town and enters into the Heidenau Tunnel with two tunnel sections, each approximately one kilometer long and designed as a twin tunnel with single track tubes, where it crosses under the historical park of Groß Sedlitz. Along the planned road bypass in the Pirna Zahista region, a new bridge crosses the Zydovitz Valley. By optimizing the rail routing, a further defragmentation of the landscape is effectively avoided. The disturbance for residents is reduced to a minimum. The new line will run approximately two kilometers through open terrain to the beginning of the cross-border base tunnel. Within the optimization of the rail routing, an overtaking station will be planned in front of the tunnel portal at the Lohm Grundrücken area. This tunnel will also consist of two parallel tubes and will cross several geological layers. This requires specialist knowledge for the tunnel construction. The tunnel will cross the Czech-German state border and end up near Chlumetz, where a branch to an existing rail line towards Teplitzer and Heb will be placed. The connection of the high-speed railway into Usti nad Labem will bring significant changes and opportunities for urban development of the city. A new passenger terminal will be created in the current West Railway Station close to the city centre. It will connect the regional capital to the direct trains travelling between Dresden and Prague. The new terminal will integrate all the modes of public transport with wider benefits to the whole region. The line crosses the Elbe River using a new bridge alongside the existing one. The route towards Prague is dedicated to high-speed passenger trains. Several options have been proposed, each with a tunnel under the Czech Central Highlands that stretches up to 17 kilometers. Freight trains will use existing lines. Leaving the tunnel, the route runs over the wide floodplain of the rivers Elbe and Orge. The design of the route will take into account neighboring historical monuments in Letomerzice and Terezin. 
it continues towards Prague using the corridor of the existing D8 motorway to reduce fragmentation of the countryside and minimize impact on the environment, population and cultural heritage. On the outskirts of Prague, the rail route enters a 4.5 km long Prozac tunnel, which runs deep under densely populated areas and ends up near to Visocheny station. For the last four kilometers in the city, the route follows the existing line, crossing over several main roads with new bridges and reaching Prague main station via existing tracks through the Witkow tunnels. The new railway line will be 123 kilometers long and allow train speeds of 200 kilometers per hour between Dresden and Osti nad Labem and up to 350 kilometers per hour towards Prague. Travel time from Dresden to Prague will be shortened from the current 135 minutes to 50 minutes. From Osti, travel time will be reduced to just 25 minutes, which will significantly speed up traffic between Prague and the whole Ustetsky region. The new line will offer opportunities for new business and journeys for education and leisure. Modern vehicles will offer passengers greater comfort. Freed capacity of existing lines will enable the development of regional rail passenger transport around Prague, Osti and Dresden. The new track will create capacity to transfer cargo shipments from road to rail and the diversion of most freight trains from the Elbe Valley, together with significant reduction of noise pollution in the cross-border section. A high-quality transport network is a prerequisite for the development of society, European integration and economic prosperity. The new rail link Dresden-Prague will serve not only current, but also future generations.